All right, Shalawan Shirala. Back again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahashai. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahashai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. And next up, the honor to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Who still got her to the hours? The Bible is defeated with through 100% true, according to the Bible, and who will. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy to the Yakims out there who is pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and sincerity to the best of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai. And I'm back at it with another lesson to the spirit by Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, or It's going to be another quick lesson to the spirit. Well, Amos, the fifth chapter, starting with the 18th verse. And so it's going to read, this is Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Right. Now, is this talking about the men of the Lord that's hastening for the day of the Lord to come? And that's doing the work of Yahweh by Shemar Shah to the best of their abilities? No. It's not talking about those men that signed a crime for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. It's talking about the hypocrites, man. It's talking about the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, man. Who's designed the day in the Lord, but who's not, but that's who is not doing the work of Yahweh by Shemel They're not doing what Yahweh by Shemel commanded them to do. So the Yahweh by Shemel saying death and destruction unto you, man. You hypocrites, man. Because a hypocrite is an actor, man. A pretender. You know? You know? It's talking about you actors who acting like you are men of the Lord, you know, but but you're not. You know? So woe unto you, man. You're not keeping the law of statutes and commandments to the best of your abilities, man. You know, so warn to you that desire the day of the Lord because you're not doing, he's not, you're not doing the work. You know what I'm saying? You're not doing the will of your high by Shimei Shah, which is going out to the highways and byways and, and feeding the Lord's flock, man, with the truth according to the scriptures, man. If you're not preaching the truth according to the scriptures, man, woe on to you. To what end is it for you? Right. So, what end is it going to be for you, man? You out there spreading lies. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're not preaching the truth according to the scriptures. Everything that, you, that, that, that you're preaching is coming out of your own thought, man. You know? So well, so how do you think, what's the end result for you? What's the end result of you going to be if you're disobeying your by Shema Shah? What do you think your end result is going to be? For the day of the Lord of darkness and not light, right? And the day of the Lord is destruction, man. Not peace, not juju beans, not marshmallows, not flowers. You know what I'm saying? Not hugs, not kisses, not everybody holding hands, saying, this is your land, my land, kumbaya, my lord. Uh, none of that, man. The day of the Lord is darkness, man, which means destruction, man. That's what the, that's what the day of the Lord is going to be, man. The day of the Lord is going to be terrifying. The day of the Lord is going to be destructive, man. And those of you who is not doing what Yahweh Shema Shah tells you to do, man, hey, man, you're going to be destroyed, man, by Yahweh Shema Shah, you know? That's what this scripture. This that's who the scripture. This scripture is referring to, man. It's not talking about the men out there that's going out to the highways and byways who is preaching truth according to the scriptures and assigning the crime for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. It's not talking about those men. It's talking about the hypocrites, man. It's talking about the false prophets. It's talking about the two thirds of the nation of Israel who knows what they're doing is wrong and being rebellious, man. You know, like these Christian, like these Christian churches out here, they know what they're doing is wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? They know that that that, that, that the most high is not all love, it's all love, man. You know? They they know that, man. They know that. They know that the love is not all love, man. They know that. You know? They know that. So, but hey, woe unto them though, man. Woe unto them, because they're not they're not they're not doing what y'all about Shimon Shah tell them to do, according to the scriptures, you know? So therefore you're gonna be destroyed, man. For like verse nineteen, for if as if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand against the wall, and a serpent bit him. Right? See, we just that's talking about different calamities, man. Different situations, man. You're gonna go from one situation into another, a seriouser or another terif a more terrifying situation than the last, man. You know. That's what the day of the Lord is going to be, man. It's going to be from one situation to a, a whole lot worse situation. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're going to have death and destruction on one side. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have a more terrifying death and destruction on the other side, man. You know, like how the brothers I was going to, man, you know, 
you might got away from a mob of people chasing you, man. You know, so you got no, you got you got away from the martial arts troops. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you, you lost them, but then you run into a building, and you close the door, you think everything is safe, you catching your breath and everything, but all of a sudden it's a you run into a, a warehouse or something that's full of uh, people that's eating other people, and now they looking at you. Now you next, man. You know, now you the next hot dog. Now you the next chicken. Now you the next hamburger. Now you the next French fries. You know. So it's gonna be from one situation to another situation, man. So it's gonna be a day of destruction, man. It's gonna be a day of judgment. That's gonna be the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is judgment, man. So hey, man. With that, Lord, when this video is edifying for y'all, Kim that is watching. I want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, who still guard to the hours of bowels and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Yachims out there who is pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and sincerity to the best of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha. With that, Shalom, Kram Yashirala.